Good evening, y'all, and welcome back to Apron Strings. I um, I need some roasted garlic for some recipes that I've got, and uh, it's not rocket science. I say that real often, but you know, sometimes we think things are simple or it's just a no-brainer, but somebody that hasn't done it before, it's a new and a learning process for them. So some of y'all might not be interested in how I roast my garlic, and what to do with it, etc. But some of y'all might think that's something I want to do because when you roast your garlic, it's still yummy, but it doesn't have that strong, pungent garlic smell on your breath. And it just, it's delicious. You can take roasted garlic and you just squeeze it out of the pod and it just comes up like a paste. You can put it on a pizza crust and oh my word, put you some cheese and some spinach. Um, a little, you know, oh my goodness, it just makes a wonderful pizza. It's good for lots of stuff. You can put it in anything you put garlic in. And you know, probably some things you wouldn't put raw garlic in. But uh, roasted garlic, stir it into your sour cream, stir it into your cream cheese and use it like that. So many different uses for it. So I'm just going to show y'all what I uh, do to roast my garlic. Now, gadget gal here. I found a Norpro garlic roaster. And it has a little clay bottom. And it says Norpro on the bottom. And the inside is glazed. But the outside is not. And it says garlic or tortilla. So you can heat your tortillas in this. But you can roast your garlic in it too. And because it's the clay, uh, this one you have to soak in water 10 to 15 minutes before you use it in the oven. And I've already done that. So I'm fixing to bring y'all over here and show you what to do. Now also, before you start using your garlic, you have to get part of the... You, they, the best thing to do is to rub it and rub it and get the excess papery shell off of the outside. So when we get over here, I'm just going to do one and show you in case you don't understand what I'm saying. Um, I've already done a bunch of them. So y'all, you don't over here, you know where we're going to be. We're going to be at the butcher block. I love this booze block. I told y'all before, when we first built the house, I think we moved in in 80, 84 maybe time flies. Um, somebody in Kingwood, down 15 miles from us, we had a little, a little sale paper thing that would come out, and uh, they had advertised this booze block for $150, and that was a lot of money back then, but it wasn't near what they cost brand new. So my son and I went down to get it, and uh, they were putting butcher block countertops in, so they didn't need it anymore. Well, let me tell you what. It has been wonderful for me to use, and it's living proof that if all you had was a two-foot square space to cook, you could have plenty of space to do whatever you needed to do, because very seldom do I use the cabinet countertops. I cook everything on this two-by-two two butcher block. So y'all come on over here, and we'll get to roasting us some garlic. Now, I buy this big old uh, two-pound bag at Costco or Sam's is how I buy my garlic. It's the most economical that I have found. And what I'm talking about getting that papery <clears throat> cover off, break the top off and then just rub it against your hands and it'll just flake off. You don't want to get it all off, and if it comes off here and there, that's okay, but you still want some on there, okay? There's the paper that came off, and here's my clean head bulb, or head, or whatever you call it, of garlic. Listen, you don't have to have one of these little Norpro garlic roasters to roast garlic. I've done it forever, and what I do is just get me a piece of tin foil, and do the same thing that I'm doing with this, and I just close it up, and seal it, and bake it for 45 minutes at about 350 or 325 just like I'm gonna do this so you don't have to have a fancy gadget I just like gadgets and I happen to have this I'm gonna use it so let me get my good knife now you have this root end then you have the top you want to leave your root end down there unless you want to just cut that off where it'll set flat which, because it looks kind of yucky, I'm going to cut it off if I can. I'm not very strong. I 
that bugger is stubborn and he don't want to come off. So you know what? I don't think he has to. Let me see if I can cut the top off of this. Yeah. So what you want to do is cut the top off where the tops of your little uh, heads of garlic will be exposed. And then you want to just put it in your foil or whatever. Now there's a bunch of good little pieces of garlic left here that I'm going to go back through this in a minute that I'm cutting off and I'm going to save these because I'll use them cooking something. But right now I'm not going to take time for that. I'm just going to get it done and uh, get it going in the oven. So we just want to go through and cut the tops off so we'll be able to drizzle the, the olive oil on them and it'll go down in there and make it roast good. And I'm going to fit as many as I can in there. I usually get 8 to 10 in there. So we'll see what how, if these are about the same size as usual or what. It smells good. Troy don't like to smell garlic. and He don't really like a lot of garlic in stuff, but I do. Mama always cooked with garlic. And, uh... Well, I had a grandpa that would eat it raw, and his breath wasn't very pretty. But he, he loved his garlic. One time when I was a kid, I might have done told y'all this, I was a latchkey kid. Mom worked at a department store in town. And uh, I got home from school one day, and I was hungry. Well, I knew how Gramps liked his garlic. So I got me a piece of garlic and peeled it, and my mama liked olive loaf sandwich meat. So I got me out a piece of her olive loaf, and I made me a sandwich, and I sliced that fresh garlic and put on it. And I was probably sixth grade, I don't know. And when mama got home, she said, what in the world have you been eating? I said, a sandwich? She said, what did you put on it? You smell like a walking garlic pod. Well, she gave me orders not to do that anymore. It was on a church night, and we had to go to church, and I guess when I breathed, you could smell garlic. I don't know. But I didn't make me a garlic sandwich anymore. But I liked it. It was good stuff. I'd be cooking something with lots of garlic, and April would come in and say, Ooh, it smells like an Italian restaurant in here. We love garlic. I guess we being me and April, because I done told you Troy don't. My boy likes it. Once this cools, you can just put it in the deep freeze. And as you need some gar some roasted garlic, just get it out, squeeze out what you need, and put it back in there. And it'll keep. I had a cooking class here at my house. Linda Frenzo from the Passionate Platter in uh, Slidell, Louisiana has come a couple of times and taught classes here. And she told us about putting it in the freezer and just squeezing out what you wanted and putting it back in there and keeping it. And let me just tell you, that was a good tip. Because it don't get rancid and strong from, you know, just being in the cabinet or whatever. And you don't have to keep it in, the, in your ice box. And if you don't happen to have an ice box, but you have a refrigerator, they about the same thing up there and stand up and wait your turn. All right. On the top. And the same thing on these. Each little one's going to get oil on it. Maybe a little more. Okay. Now, I'm going to put this cute little top on this one. Uh-oh. There. Get in there. And I'm going to fold this up to where this one will be all in the foil. Ooh, I bet my house going to smell pretty. And then I'm, I've got the June oven heated to 
325 and I'm going to put it in there for about 45 minutes and then I'll test it and I'll show y'all if it's done or not and uh, I'll let it cool and I'll show y'all how it just squeezes right out like toothpaste coming out of a tube of, of toothpaste. because it cut off on me. I had it preheated. And then I need to set my timer. Y'all, I talk to myself, okay? But I don't answer myself yet. 45 minutes. Got it going. I'll bring y'all back when it's done and we will uh, smell that good roasted garlic. Okay, y'all, the garlic is finished and this is the one in the fall. And you see that beautiful caramel golden color that's what you're looking for so you want to bake it until it's that color and then look you just mash it and it comes up like toothpaste or something so that one is done I wish y'all could smell this oh my goodness and see this one <clears throat> has the same golden color to it that's when your garlic is roasted, when it's soft and pliable and you can mash it out of the uh, papers that it's in and use it in your recipes. Now what I'm going to do, I'm simply going to put these in a Ziploc bag and put them in the freezer. And as I need roasted garlic, I'll pull one out and use it and have it. And then if I don't need it all, I can put it back in there and um, use it later. But it just smells so good, and it makes such a difference in your recipes. I hope y'all will let me know if you've never done it before, if it was a new tip for you, or just a reminder of something that you can do that adds depths of flavor to whatever you're fixing. So, another one of my little things that I do, and you got to see another one of my little fun gadgets. This is from Norpro, and I'm sure you can get them on Amazon. Uh, I bought mine up at Homestead Heritage one time when I went up there at Waco and um, their little general store. But it's for garlic or to warm tortillas in, but you do have to soak it for 10 minutes where the clay won't break uh, in, the, in the heat of the oven. Years ago, they made a clay baker, Romatov or something like that was the brand. It was when clay bakers were first coming out in the 80s and you had to soak it. I still have one, I just don't use it. Um, see, I've been a gadget girl forever, but you had to soak it in water before you used it, and it would have a lid on it, just like this, and it cooked, oh my goodness, it steamed and cooked everything so moist and good. Anyway, I'm going to close this video out so I can do something else, probably going to make an apron. I'm going to have a link below. Okay, y'all, I'm going to put a link down below to my Azure, azurestandard.com. Uh, and my link is simply Gay Jordan one no spaces, capital G, capital J. If you want to order, and I'll get some, some credit. What I get to do is order me some free merchandise for people that sign up to get drops. So check it out. That's where I got my beats the other day, and I'll be getting some more stuff and telling y'all about it. And um, my email address that's below is where you order an apron if you want to order an apron. I'm going to be showing new fabrics one day next week, and it's simply the same email that's on every video. So I'm also going to be making some uh, custom masks out of some of the pretty fabric. If you're interested in those, they'll be $10 each. I've already made some for some of y'all and, and gotten good reviews that you like them, and it's fun to have something pretty. So I'll be showing that also sometime next week. And in the meantime, be prayerful. Thank the keeper of the stars for everything he's done for you. And uh, thank you for every bit of knowledge that you get, whether it's from me or somebody else, that you have a mind that you can learn and, and enjoy new stuff. Make memories with your family. Don't forget to be gathering around the dinner table. Talk about the old times. Talk about things your parents and grandparents taught you so that they can carry it on for generations to come. It's fun when my mom and dad would talk about carrying their lunch to school in a syrup bucket. I couldn't imagine that, but boy, that was neat because they didn't have lunch kits back then. 
they used what they had. Now my mama, mama and them had homemade biscuits and she had a friend that uh, they owned a store and I might have already told you all this, but she had real light bread. And so mama would trade her biscuits to uh, her friend and she would get the light bread. So she was one up on her sisters because she had real bought light bread at school back in the early 20s or late teens years ago. Anyhow, um, I'll see y'all in a day or two with another good recipe. In the meantime, roast you some garlic, put it on something good, and tell me what you do with it.